And here we're told that the sun is 58 degrees above the horizon. So here's the ground, and let's draw the sun up here in the sky. And this angle of inclination here is 58 degrees. So this incoming ray of sunlight, or the line of sight from you to the sun, makes an angle of 58 degrees. And of course you should never actually look at the sun. And then we're told that a flagpole is 25 feet tall. Draw a diagram and find the length of the flagpole's shadow. So here's, let's draw the flagpole here. Okay. And a, a flag of some kind blowing there. Okay. And it's 25 feet tall, so let's write that down. 25 feet. And you can see the right triangle. The flagpole is vertical, the ground is horizontal, so that's a right angle. That ray of sunlight is the hypotenuse. But this 58 degree angle here, the 25 feet tall flagpole is the side opposite the 58 degree angle. And then this bottom piece down here, which is the shadow, that's what we're looking for, that is adjacent to the 58 degree angle. So let's call this length x, and let's think about the tangent ratio the tangent of 58 degrees will be opposite over adjacent. So that's 25 feet over x. Then rearrange that algebraically and you get x is 25 feet over the tangent of 58 degrees. On the calculator that comes out to 15.6 feet. That's the length of the shadow. Here you're told you are 450 meters away from the base of a tall tower. Okay, so here's the ground. We have to draw a diagram. And here's the tower over here. So it could be a radio tower or something. Put some antennas up there. But you're 450 meters away. So you're over here. And this is a long distance. That's 450 meters. So this is your position here and the 450 meters is that distance. And you measure your line of sight to the tower as 14.3 degrees above the horizontal. So from this position, if you look at the top of the tower, that way you get a 14.3 degree angle between the ground and your line of sight. So this angle is 14.3 degrees. And we're told to find the height of the tower to the nearest meter. So let's call the height h, and we can say that the tangent of 14.3 degrees will be h over 450 meters, because tangent is opposite, which will be the height, over adjacent, which we know is 450 meters. So tangent of 14.3 is h over 450 meters, so h has to be 450 meters times the tangent of 14.3 degrees. And on the calculator that comes out to be 115 meters, rounding to the nearest meter. And one more, we're told that a spotlight is 12 meters above a stage. So up here is the spotlight shining down and that's 12 meters, so down to the center of the circle of light, that's 12 meters. So it illuminates this area on the stage. Okay. Uh, po pointing straight down, as we see in the diagram. It spreads out at a 40 degree angle as shown. So this angle is 40 degrees. Now be careful, look at this. This angle right here is 40 degrees. If we look at one of these triangles, either on the right side or on the left side, this angle and this angle would each be 20. So if we're thinking about a right triangle here, which is what we want to do, because we're dealing with right triangle trigonometry, we want to deal with this 20 degree angle right there. So to the nearest square meter, what area of the stage is illuminated. So we're looking for this area right down here. So to do that, we're going to say area is pi r squared, and we need to find r. And r will be this side down here of this triangle. That's my radius r. 
and we can find that by using this right triangle. So I know that the tangent of 20 degrees, that will be the opposite side, that's R, divided by the adjacent side, which is 12 meters. Tangent of 20 degrees is R over 12 meters, so R is 12 meters times the tangent of 20 degrees, and on the calculator that comes out to 4.37 meters, and then we can calculate the area. Area is pi r squared, so um, pi on the calculator, you can press the pi key times 4.37 meters squared, so the 4.37 gets squared, the pi does not, but the meters does get, get squared. So the, the units in the unit of measurement ends up being square meters and pi times 4.37 comes out to approximately 60. So the answer is 60 square meters.